I'm still a believer in Engine, and I still do believe that during this bull run, it could hypothetically go to the price of $10. Now, of course, that's not a guarantee, and also, that's definitely not financial advice. However, why do I think so? It's because I believe that Engine is a very special project. You know, if you take a look at it at its core, right, it gives creators and developers the ability to launch top-tier Web3 games and applications. Now, when I say this, people may cringe because they're like, oh, gaming? I mean, come on, man. They're saying that, oh, wow, the hype, you know, went away a long time ago. But no, I disagree because I think better days are ahead when it comes to blockchain gaming, contrary to popular belief. Because, for instance, if you take a look at it, right, according to Grandview Research, the blockchain gaming market is predicted to be worth over $300 billion by 2030, which is kind of crazy. I mean, we're nearing 2025 at this point. So that's basically just like five years away. That figure is bigger than some country's GDP. So when people like to say, oh, wow, you know, blockchain gaming, it's cack, it's trash, all this type of stuff. No, I disagree. I think better days are ahead. You know, is the hype as of right now as amazing as it was back in 2021? You know, of course not. But I think, you know, it's going to come back in again because I think blockchain gaming is just so revolutionary. Are a lot of them, you know, bad games as of right now? Yes, but it's just the early stages. Imagine, you know, years on the line. I think the hype is going to come back in again. And I think that engine... Man, they're doing such a genius move by being focused on that right now. Because guess what happens when the wave for blockchain gaming jumps back in again? They're going to be there to catch that. It's much better anticipating something as opposed to chasing it, in my opinion. And Engine, they perfectly understand that concept. At least that's the way I view it. Now, let's not forget, right? They're actually even involved with something called Microsoft. Now, some people don't really take this into consideration, but this is very special. Because if you take a look at it, right? What was Engine involved with Microsoft with? It was something called Azure Heroes, which was Microsoft's very own digital badge awards program. I mean, could you only imagine that, right? Engine being quite essentially involved with Microsoft, this is how legendary it is. A lot of other projects out there, they can't even do this. I mean, this is how amazing Engine truly is. A lot of people out there, they like to say that, oh, wow, you know, Engine, it's caca, it's trash. No, man, I disagree. Let's also take this into consideration. They've also you know, been involved with amazing gaming projects like Lost Relics, The Six Dragons, Nine Lives Arena, and many others. Now, granted, are they like the most popular games out there in the world right now? No, but this is a step in the right direction because, again, Engine, if you really think about it, they're focused on a market that really hasn't, you know, gained mass adoption yet. Also, on top of that, when it comes to blockchain gaming, it really hasn't gained that recognition. But, again, this is a step in the right direction. However, it doesn't end there because when you take a look at the Engine blockchain, and yeah, you heard that right. I'm talking about the very amazing Engine blockchain. A lot of people don't like this. They think that it's a waste of resources, all this type of stuff. But no, I disagree because I think this is very amazing. You know, for instance, there are fantastic statistics when it comes to this. You know, it can facilitate over 5,000 transactions per second. You know, over 5,000, that's insane. Also on top of that, able to process upwards of 2,000 mints per transaction, which I think is also very crazy. And furthermore, it has an average transaction cost that is less than a penny. I mean, can you imagine that? That's how amazing Engine is. Now, keep in mind, though, a lot of people don't agree with this also because if you actually take a look at it, when Engine launched on blockchain, when Engine upgraded quite essentially, what happened, right? Coinbase didn't really like that in a sense, I'm assuming because they did delist Engine. And then, you know, a lot of people were panicking. They were saying all this, but I actually addressed this, but I do want to address it again because it's been quite a while. But even besides that, First of all, Coinbase kind of has a history of doing this, if you really think about it. Because what happened when Gala became Gala V2, when it upgraded as well, right? What happened? Coinbase didn't want to support it, quite essentially, and then Gala got delisted. Now, isn't that kind of the same when it comes to Engine? Now, if you really think about it, Coinbase, again, kind of has a history of doing this. But is that necessarily a bad thing? No, because... If you take a look at Engine, it's still listed in a bunch of exchanges anyways. You also take a look at Gala. I even mentioned this as well in my Gala videos. It's like, why is this a problem? You know, it's still listed in a bunch of other major exchanges. So, okay, Coinbase delisted. Who cares, man? That's not really a big deal in my opinion. Now, if like Engine kept getting delisted by a bunch of major exchanges, like one after the other, then yeah, okay, that's very concerning. But only Coinbase, who cares, man? Many projects out there who've never even been listed on Coinbase have done to you know, do very well. So this is not the end all be all, you know, it's not the deal breaker to be listed on Coinbase as a criteria for success. No, I disagree. Sure, it can help, but it's not necessary, in my opinion, not super necessary. Hashtag Jorge Masvidal. But yeah, besides that point, 
if you take a look at Engine, what are they also focused on? They're focused on the metaverse. Now, yes, all the hype did die down when it comes to the metaverse. Sentiment isn't really that great. But again, better days are ahead because even according to McKinsey, the metaverse could reach up to $5 trillion in value by 2030. Now, I'm going to use an Apple to oranges comparison here just to kind of visualize, you know, just how amazing this figure is. We take a look at the GDP of Canada, right? Back in 2022, it was around $2 trillion. The GDP of the UK also back then, right, that year was around $3 trillion. So $5 trillion is actually a very insane amount. I think sometimes people are like, oh, wow, not that great, but this is actually a very amazing figure. Now, last but not least, right, you also take a look at Engine. They're even focused on NFTs. Now I get it. This is kind of a cringe topic to some people because they're like, oh man, NFTs, they only revolve around like bored apes or like mutant apes or whatever like that. But, you know, I think again, better days are ahead, much like the, you know, gaming and as well as metaverse market. Because if you think about it, right, what is so bad about NFTs? I get it. You know, 2021 was an amazing year for it, but I think its use case is amazing. And I think also it has a bright future. Yet again, according to Granby Research by 2030, the NFT market is predicted to be worth over $200 billion. So yeah, that's insane. So if you take a look at Engine overall as a package, I think it's fantastic, right? Focus on the right markets, amazing adoption already. And also on top of that, they have the Engine blockchain. I mean, need I say more? This is a no-brainer pick for me. At the price of $10, I don't know why it's so crazy. I don't know why people keep saying, oh, wow, man, you know, Engine is cack, all this type of stuff. Don't you need confirmation, you know, in order for it to know it's going to do well? Why don't you wait till it goes to the price of a dollar? All this type of stuff. That's just not my jam. That's not my style. I don't need confirmation like that. If I wait until like engine goes to the price of a dollar, can you imagine all the hypothetical gains lost, you know, from right now till then? I mean, that would be a complete, you know, nightmare, right? So of course, I don't want that. You know, I don't need confirmation to, you know, think it's going to do well, because if I believe in a project, I just believe in it. And the key is, of course, entering before the FOMO kicks in. I'm not going to FOMO later on when the price is like at a you know, $5, you know, $6. I'm not going to do that, man. That's just, again, not my style. You know, of course, I'm dollar cost averaging. I'm never going all in. So any time earned income, I'm just acquiring, I'm holding, I'm just waiting. Really, that's about it. You know, I'm not a day trader. You know, I don't use leverage. I don't swing trade. Again, I just like to keep things simple. Now, why wouldn't I keep it simple, though? You take a look at how there's over 600 million crypto owners as we speak. So that's more than ever before in history, according to crypto.com research. You also take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the number of institutional investors. You know, I think with all those amazing factors, Bitcoin this time around is poised for an amazing rally. Yes, this year it did break a new all-time high, had a big pullback, now having somewhat of a decent recovery, even though it has a slight pullback again. But even despite that, I think Bitcoin is poised for great heights, 100,000, 150,000. That wouldn't surprise me whatsoever, because I believe that the crypto space overall is looking so bullish. You know, there's so many amazing bullish sentiments. As of right now, you also take a look at the Ethereum ETF. That's massive. So I think that this time around, it's going to dwarf what we saw back in 2021. You know, 2021 was an amazing year. Granted, Engine had an amazing rally. And keep in mind, you know, actually at that time, during the peak of that bull run that year, there was roughly only around 300 million crypto owners. So it was actually like basically around 50% less than as of right now. So again, this time around could be so amazing. All I got to do is really just stay patient because around a year from right now, or should I say like six months from right now, things could look so different because historically speaking, altcoins have been known to peak as a worst case scenario around 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event, basically a year and a half. Now, the Bitcoin halving event happened back in April. So based off that, right, worst case is like October of next year. Now, a best case is typically like six months, half a year, which would mean actually around October of this year. So yes, basically, you know, this October. But even despite that, you know, some people out there, they may think that, oh, wow, you know, it's not going to happen right now. It's not happening. Well, again, historically, this has been a best case. So let's say we scratch this off. Let's say we use a middle ground approach. That's still April of 2025, because of course, that's 12 months, you know, again, April of next year. So anywhere between April to, you know, October is the range I'm looking at. Granted, it could have happened earlier. You never know. I don't think it's going to happen this year, though. But even besides that, I'm just staying patient anyways, because my strategy, again, is very simple. Dollar cost averaging, acquiring, holding, and just waiting. That's it. I'm very bullish on Engine. I think the metaverse is going to pick up again. I think NFTs are going to have a resurgence. And I think blockchain gaming will have its day. So when it comes to Engine, with all those amazing factors, combined with a bull run hypothetically being that amazing, $10, I don't see why not. You know, keep in mind, if it were to go to the price of $10, considering current circulating supply, 
market cap would be around $17 billion. Now, granted, that's over 70x from here, and people may think, whoa, that's insane, man. But no, I disagree. In the grand scheme of things, a $17 billion market cap is so minuscule. SHIB over doubled this. That's not a joke, by the way. Shiba, you know, at one point reached around $40 billion. Dogecoin at one point reached over $80 billion. This isn't too much to ask for. And again, $10 wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Billy the Captain, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.